My first speckled trout of the year. Oh, son. That was awesome. <sighs> That's another 24. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Today, I'm out here with my buddy. This is Alex Hackney, right here behind me. And we actually were talking because I was finishing up doing some work stuff. And it's like this just nasty conditions out here raining. And we both texted each other at the same time. We were like, yo, we need to get out, start throwing top water. And uh, so anyways, we're gonna get out here today. We're gonna try and do some, I don't know, what? Redfish, speckled trout? Yes, either or. Either or. Anything. So you guys, Alex Hackney right here, he does, it's called in-game tackle. Yep. So it's called in-game tackle and he builds like, actually just uh, a wide assortment of fishing rigs and like deep drop rigs, I think is like your specialty, yes, right? deep drop rigs. So if you guys ever do like tile fishing, sea bass. Sea bass, golden tile, grouper. Grouper, anything like that, hit my boy Hackney up. So it's called in game tackle, in game tackle. And uh, so he's a local here in the Virginia Beach area. And so today we're just, I don't know, gonna go out do some fun fishing and just take a, a load of stress off from a long week of, I just had a really busy week editing, working and everything else. And we were like, dude, let's just get out and go fishing. So it's time for us to stop talking and start catching, catching. some, catching some speckled trout. Let's see if they're here today. We'll get them. The top water's overcast. That's what the internet said. You better watch out, man. I'm gonna tie on a banjo lure and just start catching everything. Where is the red tide not? Like, is it not out? on the jetties is it not further in the inlets it's weird because i'm not other than that mullet kind of looks like dead this red tide dude is like just no look at this dude there's no brown water that's no brown that's all green with nobody here dog i bet you i bet you there's got to be fish over here it's all like, that's not that brown. What man, you don't like to roll up? <laughs> oh yeah. Hold on son, I just got whacked boy. Hold on. It was a little like bluefish bite, but it was some. I feel very confident about this man, the way the water is. Oh son, there's fish around here. There is a, uh, a blow up right near my cork. So only for this root beer shrimp, the only scent that works with it, that doesn't work if you use blue crab. Just telling you. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you I'm <laughs> All right, dude. It's a little deeper, so you swap it over. No, I just trying to throw right up on the rocks with the corky cork. Just give him a little something different. I just got whacked. Come on. Come on, son. I watched that. What you know? That's actually a decent one. What is this? A little drum. Yeah, just pulling like a drum. Oh, yeah. Oh, could be a big trout. If that's a trout, Hackney, then I'm going to start freaking out, boy. Dog, if that's a trout. All right, people. Am I rolling? All right, people, I'm on something. And if this is a trout, I'm going to be freaking out, freaking out. What do we have? Feels like a drum, but if it's a trout, about to be lit. Drum. Is it a drum? It's a nice size fish, whatever it is. Oh, dude, it's a trout. No, it's not. No, it's not, Hackney. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my gosh! Dog, I thought that was an overslot red. This is my first trout of the year. First, my first speckled trout of the year. Hello, dude. Insane. Don't let him fall in there. Okay. 24. 24 actually in a bunker. So my first trout of the year. 
is a 24 and a quarter inch trout. If this is any indication on what the trout fishing season is gonna be like this year, good Lord. Are you kidding me? That is huge. Dude, I thought it was a drone. So did I. I didn't get excited. I, was like, eh. I literally was like, if this is a trout, I'm gonna start freaking out. Okay. My first trout of the year. Was I'm betting a thousand. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, we'll let this guy go. Of course we're letting this trout go. Come on now, is that even a question? One more look at this. That is insane, people. Oh my gosh, insane. All right. Release the big trout. Oh my gosh, thank you, buddy. What a cool story, man. There he goes. Yes. That is crazy. That's awesome. My first trout of the year. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I watched it too. Yeah. I watched the bopper go down. You know what's crazy, Heck? There might be more right there. Dude, I know. Demolished my uh, new penny shrimp. But look, that's that Z-Man right there. I can actually keep using this guy. Dang, that guy destroyed it. Oh. Another one. Dude, hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Dude, that feels just as big, Hackney. I'm not even lying. Hackney. Dude. You got that, are you on? You got that net, dude? All right, people, this is my second fish, second trout of the year, or fish, and I think it's a trout, and it feels bigger. Feels bigger. No, it's a red. Okay. A good size one. Here, I'll, uh... You're good. Where am I? All right, people, just throwing this popping cork right up on the jetty. Dang, thought it was a trout. But, you get the blue. That's cool. All right, people, there it is. Second fish of the day. And uh, not a 24 inch gator trout, but a fun size redfish. Throwing the popping cork right up against this jetty. I thought it was a big old gator trout, but we'll take it. And guess what? We're releasing today. 24 inch trout. I still can't believe that. That is insane. All right, people. So today I'm using quarter ounce jig head and I am using a popping cork. Yes, I am. And actually look at this. It's all jacked up, but it doesn't matter because it still gets the job done. Uh, I'm using about 15 pound test leader line. I'm using Z-Man paddle tails and the easy shrimp, but I am using this like darker color because we have like a red tide algae bloom action going on. So we have some like kind of stained water. And uh, so this is the color that I'm using. Um, my buddy Hackney's using a white, but I like this kind of gold flakes to it. Um, and I'm using some of this pro cure action. Yeah, so we have this like jetty right here that we're fishing and overcast weather. This is just like absolutely perfect conditions. Uh, weather man was calling for rain. And so we're just kind of going in and out of rain, thunderstorms and all that. But this is when fish are like super active. Also, there's like no boat pressure out here, but the fish are just totally in their happy place. Um, it's like, overcast uh so the fish are just up on top tons of bait around um and we're just seeing a lot of activity everywhere up on the surface so i'm going like in between like darker lures and then sometimes it's weird you know you just break all the rules and just go with the pearl white and some stained water so that's what i'm using on my jig head going like subsurface hey bro i got a fishy oh, oh, oh. That's a trout. it is a it's a little trout well, it's hard to follow that act up. So, this trout just brought me right back down to planet Earth. Oh, yes, son! Oh, keep working it! Oh, we just picked it up! <laughs> that was so sick. That was sick. I just told you I was going to catch one on this cat. Dang, where's that net? 
That was awesome. That was such a cool eat. All right. I'm glad you got to see it. That was so cool. Dang, dude, I'm throwing on top water. Trout, right? Yeah. And a keeper too. Yeah, we'll keep this one. Nice. Dude, that was see, so cool. Dang, dude. Dude, throw him in that trout. In the blue one? Yeah, in the blue one. All right, it's top water time. All right, y'all. So right now, we are. We're gonna be using some top water. Hackney caught one. He landed one, and he's had three blow ups. So, all right, so there it is. So we're just gonna do one top water and I'm actually kind of switching my rods up a little bit. Dang, dude, feeding frenzy right behind the boat. All right, so I switched my rods up. So I got the heavier rod is straight to a jig head so we can get a better hook set. So I typically like to fish a heavier action rod with that. And then, so the lighter action rod is actually gonna be the top water because you got the treble hooks. So you don't really need Kind of want a little bit more bow in your rod. Yo. That flat. Oh, son. That was awesome. Wasn't even looking. That was so awesome. I was not even looking. Oh, that was so cool. You guys, yeah, it's a trout. Yes, for sure. Good one. Really good one. Like a really good eating one. I'm going to bring it around here. That's like a 19. Ready? That's like a 20. So sick. First topwater trout, and this guy, I'm gonna release him, but he's perfect eating size. Does it get any better than this? Fat trout on top water. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. All right, dude. <laughs> he gone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. That was so cool. And that's a big trout. Oh my gosh. Oh. Or is that a draw? I think, okay. I think that's a trout. That's a nice trout. That's a big trout. All right. Big trout. Where's the Oh, it's over there. Oh, son. That's a big one. That's a big one. It's coming. Oh my gosh. 23, 24? Dude, come on. Easy, bring them right around here. Oh, sorry. You're good. <sighs> That's another 24. Yeah. Are you kidding me? All right, people. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, this day just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Another trophy speckled trout on top water oh my gosh oh i don't even know what to say right now that's two in one day and one on top water oh my gosh oh that's crazy that is ridiculous that's another 24 25 inch trout just so you know that's my hand right there. Another trophy trout on top water. Let's just get a measurement. Oh yeah, another 24. 24. Yeah. Wow. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. All right, people. So here it is. Top water. This is like a tiny trout one. Um, so when you guys are throwing top water, it's awesome because you can kind of bomb some long, long casts. And then it's really just finding that cadence and also the right 
uh, tension in your line. There's that balance. So there's a lot of different like opinions and theories on like the cadence that you work a top water. And these are all the walk the dog ones. So when it comes to like walking the dog, which is more of that kind of like zigzag type motion on the surface, um, that's kind of what I'm talking about. And there's a lot of different theories. So the first theory is that, oh, I think I'm getting, looks like something's swimming up on it. So the first theory is to just do like a consistent steady retrieve. The other theory is how many times have you seen a mullet or any bait fish swimming in a consistent uh, pattern? They don't. Bait fish, they swim all around different speeds and everything. So kind of like a, a uh, what do you call it? A irregular cadence. So it's like clack, 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 stop. Clack, 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 stop. Click, 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 stop. Click, 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 just like that. Honestly, this is my opinion. Whatever catches fish, do that. So whether it's a consistent uh, pattern or it's an irregular pattern, I kind of do a little bit of both. Oh, that's a fish. Dude, I called it. That's a good one. I mean, it could be a big old trout. It's kind of pulling, not like a drum, I'll tell you that. It's pulling like a trout. It's just pulling heavyweight. It's not like running, like zinging. It's kind of like a drum, but... Dang. Yeah, it is, whatever it is, it's big. I mean, even as a drum, it's gonna be nice. What do we have? Oh, I think it's a drum. Yeah, you want, okay, we want it sure, yeah, just uh, it's kind of heavy. Cool. Dang, dude. That's a nice one still. Dang, that is so cool. I'll take that all day long, people. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. He hit it twice. Oh my gosh. Dude, that was insane. That's a drum. That I think it's a drum. Or is it a trout? Where are you going, buddy? Drum. I think it's a drum. It's all purple. Yeah. That's awesome. That is so cool. Drum on top. <laughs> Dang, that is so fun. 19 inch redfish on top water. Oh, man. All right, dude. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that is crazy. Two trophy size speckled trout in one fishing session uh and literally the sad part is we both had to go in hackney and i both had to go in and you've heard stories of people catching like four or even five trophy trout um just in one session uh in like an hour to an hour and a half and we probably could have done that that's the sad part about it and we just um, had to get back home. Uh, we both had plans. Uh, so anyways, y'all, that's the video. Um, if that's any indication for speckled trout fishing for 2020, at least that's one thing positive that we have going for this year, 2020 is speckled trout fishing. Um, at least on the East coast is looking pretty dang good. Everybody's been talking about it because this last winter, 2019 2020 um was a more mild winter 
and we didn't we haven't had a trout kill in the virginia north carolina and even south carolina areas uh, for it's been about three years now so the trout populations have rebounded and there's plenty of speckled trout but there's also not just quantity there's like amazing quality so um yeah i'm going to be doing a lot of speckled trout fishing this fall I hope y'all are uh, i'll be doing a lot of tutorials to help y'all out catching them please drop a comment below if y'all want to see like specific tutorials on things that y'all want to learn for speckled trout fishing or just inshore or just saltwater fishing for that matter uh, but especially when it comes to speckled trout fishing that's a really big part of this channel and uh, definitely special shout out to all of my uh, kind of diehard speckled trout anglers um, so anyways we got some pretty decent uh speckled trout fishing uh kind of videos and and action coming up here in the next few days that we'll be sharing with y'all but um dag on you guys get up out there and go catch yourself some trophy speckled trout because they're out there and there's a lot of them there's quantity and quality so hopefully y'all enjoyed that and uh yeah leave me a comment below if y'all want to see some specific like tutorials or things that you know you guys just kind of want to see to you know help maximize your time out there on the water but that's all i got for today people and uh big shout out to my buddy alex hackney in game tackle so all right y'all that's it peace out